How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. We're back at it roasting subscriber cars. No face cam today. It is 4.30 a.m. So I feel like I probably look like a pile of dog shit. So I'm not going to go ahead and uh, have you guys stare at that for a while. Instead, we will be staring at multiple piles of dog shit in the form of cars. Support the channel. Go pick up some merch if you want to. You won't look like a pile of dog shit if you wear that. Let's dive right in. All right. First quote unquote build. Buying an Amazon wing and wrapping your hood black is not a build, okay? You're still on stock wheels and stock ride height. I don't care how much yellow tint you put over your fog lights. It's not making your car any faster. Stock wheels and stock tires and stock ride height is just a dead giveaway to me that you probably have very little engine modification underneath that hood. And wrapping it black isn't going to cover it up anymore either. All right, so for this next car, I thought to myself, wow, man, someone got fooled into buying the new Honda Civic Type R. I feel bad for that guy. They just wasted a whole lot of money on a front wheel drive shitbox. And then it turns out this isn't a real Honda Civic Type R. Yeah, I guess people fake these. This is a Honda Civic with a Type R body kit. Uh, apparently, this is a Honda Civic RS. Never heard about it here in the States. Don't know if we get these here, but either way, it's just a Civic to me. And uh, yeah, <laughs> fake Type R. Wow, okay. I mean, I was looking at these photos and I was like, there was no hood scoop, no little like flares on it. And I was just like, something ain't right here. But then I read the email and yeah, it's a fake, fake Honda Civic Type R. Is that rice or nice? I don't know. I feel like that is a uh, shit. It's okay, guys. Okay, if your car is just basic looking, you can always enhance it with an editing software. You can always do that. You can make it look cooler. Okay, I was so distracted by the Subaru logo in the background that I forgot I was looking at a little basic ass Impreza. All right, with a wing and wheels and a body kit like that, you better drift. I, I I hope to God you drift this thing, okay? I mean, it's just asking to be drifted. And just by going off of this picture alone, I can tell that you're not a very good drifter. So, I mean, keep trying and uh, just don't paint it and don't replace the bumper until you get it dialed in. I always find it funny when people put daily driven on like basic cars. I get it. It's an STI and everything, but I mean, it, it's it's no race car, okay? Just because it's an STI doesn't make it a race car. And apparently, apparently the email said that everything underneath the hood was stock. So this is all looks, all looks, okay? Now, now again, I want to hear your guys' opinion on this. Even though it's an STI, is this rice or nice? I mean, come on. At a certain point, it's a bit much okay a bit much rice or nice let me know in the comments i'm really interested daily driven it's a four cylinder come on you're not you're not you're not flexing on anyone i honestly think the only purpose of this little canoe or kayak up here is just to match the wheels if you take that shit off it just looks stupid oh a cute little miata okay i see a little intercooler down there that's pretty cute oh look at those cute little eyes oh it almost looks like it's blushing with those little blinkers right there it's so cute and then you went and put a home depot air vent what are you doing to your car it was it was fine it was fine right here cool whatever you got colorful lights and then you put a random home depot vent on there what is it cooling what what what's right here okay some can some miata fanboy let me know yes okay cool motor everything blah 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 but that's straight it's not even paint matched at least paint match it other than that though i mean look at that face it is just so adorable it is just so cute look at it besides the banner i honestly can't really diss this car fitman looks clean it's not overkill i like it uh, uh how many crowds did it have to hit to get off road <laughs> All things aside, though, people need to stop buying the EcoBoost Mustang, okay? People stopped buying the V6 because they were buying the EcoBoost, and then the V6 got discontinued, so now everyone just stop buying the EcoBoost, and you'll be good, okay? The EcoBoost will get discontinued, nothing but 5.0 Mustangs rolling around. Wouldn't that be heavenly, okay? I can't tell if this is an EcoBoost or what it is just from this angle. I can't see any uh, key details I would give it away, but just a little PSA out there, guys. Quit buying the EcoBoost, hashtag save the 5.0, let's move on. All right, so for those of you that don't know, I used to work at a Chevy dealership. I worked at one for about two years, so I was around these cars a lot. This is the Chevy Malibu, obviously. And, I mean, I could just tell you for certain, these cars are super slow. I mean, just stupid slow. You should, no, this is just a waste. This is a waste. You should have just bought, like, if you wanted, you know, a fun little eco-friendly car. Four-cylinder Camaro, whatever. And then it's at least a Camaro. This waste waste of money waste of money waste of money and those wheels man those don't look like they belong on the car those look like they belong on like a mid-2000s impala not a 2016 malibu come on 
I would say it'd be a smart idea to keep your Evo 10 stock because it is the last Evo. It's the last true Evo. But then again, it's just an Evo. So it's probably not going to, you know, accumulate too much value at the end of the day. So just go ahead, mod it. It's going to blow up anyway. Just mod it. Have fun with it. It's, it's not going to last. Yeah, bro. I do mods like every weekend. What I do last weekend? Oh, I put these cool little stickers right here on my headlight. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I know. It really adds to it. It really makes it pop. It really looks aggressive with those stickers I planted on my hood. Yeah, it really just makes it look super aggressive. Yeah. Come on, I hate these stickers so much. I hate these stickers. I've said it like a thousand times. These stupid little stickers right here. I see them on all the V6 Challengers, Camaros, all those stupid. Oh my God, I hate them so much. But aftermarket grill, yeah, that hashtag increases horsepower, more airflow for that four cylinder. It really needs all that cooling it can get. Um, and look at that wing. Let's get a better picture. Boom. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling the wing. Not feeling the wing. Not on this grocery getter right here. Come on, this is like a mom's car. Okay, this is not a race car doesn't need a wing like that all right i don't know what car this is but it looks like a cross between like an eclipse and like an audi tt i weirdly like it but uh yeah don't know what don't know what this is all right you can either take this as a compliment or an insult but i feel like every dodge neon out there feels the need to make their car look aggressive via either those little stickers that you put on the headlights to make it look angry or any of those stupid things but this guy just looks like he doesn't give a shit okay it's a dodge neon he knows it and he's rocking it like that whatever take it as you want and with that being said, how many of these do you think are still, you know, out kicking around? I mean, I know these transmissions are just like hand grenades. So either this car is permanently parked here or he's just one of the last people to have one of these cars. Because, I mean, seriously, these these tran the transmissions of these cars are just made of glass. So the balls on you, man. You got some Harambe balls for sure. Yeah, this picture alone kind of lets me know why uh, Pontiac went out of business. I mean, look at this thing. This shit is ugly. This shit is like a cross between like an MR2 and a bug. And it's got some budget ass BMW grills too. It's a build in progress, guys. Let's be nice. It's a build in progress. Oh my God. Look at this car. Jesus Christ. Okay, sticker bombing it is not going to make it look any better. Where is your hood? That doesn't count as weight reduction for missing it. What's with like everything about this car is just a little bit weird. Now, if you're into that, that's good for you. I'm into a car looking like a car, not looking like a, a rust bucket. But that's just me. This looks like a Frankenstein of parts, and that's not a good thing. I mean, you chopped your plate down. Is that even legal? I feel like that can't be legal. That, that can't be legal. Okay, you're in California. For sure that ain't legal, because California is strict as hell. So I know, I know damn right that ain't legal. Is this just a hole in your bumper too? What are you doing? This, no, don't do this. Unless this is like serving some sort of real purpose. Don't just do, you don't just cut holes to cut holes. I think it was the subject bar in the email said rice or nice. And I never understood why people say that. Like rice or nice. Like this is stock. Like this is, no, it's not rice or nice. It's neither. It's, it's stock. I mean, it looks stock. I never understood that. I don't know. It's just a, a weird thing. I always get like rice or nice. And I just click on the, the picture and it's just some like stock ass car. It's like, dude, like some cars just are neither rice or nice. It's just stock. You might have blacked out your grill. That's it. The flock has no bounds. We've reached Dubai. This is an actual subscriber out in Dubai. Living life to the fullest. Nice collection of cars right here. The RCF and a Rolls Royce. What is that? A Wraith? A Phantom? I don't know. Some fancy ass car. Too expensive for me to know. It's just crazy the reach that the flock has now. I mean, we're we're overseas. We're in like a lot of countries. It's just pretty crazy. It's just crazy how you know it started out as like just me a kid in my room making videos, and now you know I've, I've grown up, and you know it's like a career now kind of. So it's, it's just crazy to think. And then you know we're reaching people out in Dubai who enjoy the videos that crazy to me it blows my mind thank you man you could just tell that is a functional wing i could just tell just by looking at it i mean it looks like the rear is dropped more than the front so it just the downforce just must be killing the springs and shocks back there it just can't handle it anymore that, that is one fast car for sure needs the hood pins too that is a must some cars you just can't roast we can all just appreciate that fat ass on this american muscle car i mean if i could oof, oof. some cars like i said there's off limits to roast and i can't roast this one now this one, on the other hand, I mean, come on, a coyote sticker on the side of your V6. Come on, uh, who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? Stop it, stop it right now. I want you to stop. All right, so I know this is gonna sound mean. I apologize ahead of time, but I'm gonna have to put you on blast right here. I never understood how people can take such shitty photos and, and then submit them. It's like, okay, 
One, your car isn't even fully in frame. You got all this wasted room right here. Two, it's crooked. I get that's a style or whatever for taking pictures of cars, but it just looks dumb right here. Three, your wheel is turned the wrong way. Like, come on, at least the sun is on the right side of the car, but your wheel is turned the wrong way. Four, your doors aren't even open, like, symmetrical. And five, why are they even open in the first place? They're not even, like, Lambo doors. They're just open doors. It looks like you legit stopped mid-U-turn to take a photo. And, like, both of you guys hopped out to look at it. it just, I don't know. It just looks weird to me. And then you go and look at this photo, and it's just, it's nice. The car's in frame. You got okay lighting. You got nice scenery. This is just a pleasant photo with a pleasant car in it. Another example with a good photo and a car that I would not want to fart inside, okay? I would not want to stain that interior. This car, this car, this nice car, okay? He didn't overkill it. All right, so I want your guys' thoughts on this car's wrap. I know, you know, I'm not really roasting these cars at the moment, but I mean, look at this wrap. This is, this is complex right here. I don't know how they did this, okay? This is too perfect. Again, I don't know how they did this. I'm assuming the car's base color is yellow. I believe, you know, that makes sense to me. But how the hell did they get this so perfect? I mean, damn, that's skill right there. This is, this is pretty cool looking too. I don't really like how it's like legit, just like the same pattern over and over. But I mean, I'm feeling it. I kind of like it. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here, try to get it edited really quick. It's now 5 a.m., which is great for me. I'm gonna sleep until 6 p.m. maybe today, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you wanna submit your car, send them to my Gmail, drewpeacockclips at gmail.com. If it doesn't allow you to send it, it's because my inbox is full, so I'm gonna have to go and just delete a bunch of random people's posts. So if your car is not in the, I don't know, a video in the future, it might have just been deleted on accident, so you could try resubmitting it in the future. Subscribe to join the Peacock Flock. Until next video, peace.